Hey Chase, so we just got this question around Black Hat SEO. A lot of my competitors use Black Hat techniques um, like PBNs, private blog networks, to rank locally. It's very tempting because my website is 10 times better in terms of quality and optimization. This is a really tough one. I just used a quote in a, a previous video we did where I said, you don't have to do extraordinary things to be successful. You only have to do ordinary things extraordinarily well. And if you stand by that, like the clients we've worked with now for some of them over a decade, you will win eventually. And you will, you will have times where you're frustrated because they're getting away with something. But you're going to watch as those competitors fall to the wayside, as Google and, and you know, their, their algorithm continue to get better and smarter and uh, machine learning kicks in. Uh, eventually, they're going to get penalized. And those are permanent penalties. They're essentially, at some point, going to have to start all over. And your history and your... Um, you're doing the right things, your permanent record with the search engines will hold true and you'll you'll stick there at the top forever. So I would say the first thing that you wanna do when you see your competitors getting away with that is report them. There's a, a link, if you just Google report spam to Google or report paid links to Google, um, you can actually use that, that submission form and it'll queue it up for a manual uh, review. They'll get a manual review and eventually get penalized. One thing, one thing we're seeing a lot of competitors getting away with right now is their featured answer spam. So they're they're not using the PBNs for links anymore, right? They're not trying to, to link from pages that aren't as relevant. Instead, they're trying to get their 300 to 350 characters splattered all across the internet. Um, the worst culprits of this are recipe related websites. And the black hats out there are just creating all these really generic, um, you know, sites all over the internet that don't have any value just to get that 300 character snippet. And Google hasn't figured it out yet. And it's driving those of us who have better answers, um, you know, it's driving us crazy because it's not fair that they're getting away with spamming with their, their 300 characters all across the internet, um, you know, where we're getting mentioned where it matters the most. So I think, I think as they continue to get smarter and they, they update and they find and they treat these feature and answer uh, occurrences or citations in the same way they do with spammy links, that those competitors are going to get penalized and they're going to go away. So it's it's hard because you're gonna have to you know deal with with you know reporting a lot of competitors for doing this kind of stuff, um, but um, you know it's it's the nature of the beast. And if you if you build the right relationships and you get the right domain sending you referral traffic, um, eventually um, you're just gonna continue to see growth as long as your content gets better. You're challenging yourself to improve your conversion rates every month, your page load times every month. You're experimenting with AMP. You're creating better visuals and media and you're distributing those visuals and medias with your featured answers on your um, your social sites and your image sharing and video sharing websites and you're continuing that pattern and cadence of behavior over month over month over month and you've got a really good content marketing strategy on questions um, I'm telling you over time you're you're gonna be just fine and the competitors are gonna fall to the wayside that's that's the that's the hard pill uh, to swallow that we have to deal with these clients that or six, eight months in, trying to rank for keywords like truck accident lawyer nationally. And they get really frustrated because they're, you know, on page two, page three, and these other guys, they were just doing this shady, you know, web 2.0 link farm, <laughs> we all, you know, link broker garbage are, are still there, but they're not going to be there forever. And when, when a year goes by and Google's seen your results perform well in terms of click-through rate, because your featured snippet looks amazing, and because you're user behavior signals, your click and stay, and unless pogo sticking happen, um, you hit that year mark and it's it's amazing watching this line where you're kind of not really going anywhere for a year, even though you continue to kind of nurture it and it's going up a little bit, but not a lot. Once you hit that one year with that URL, it's amazing what happens. It's like, it's almost like a bell curve if your content truly is better than the competing page. Um, and that competitor will just start getting pushed down and down and down and down. Eventually they'll get sandboxed or penalized, we hope. Um, but if you're focusing on what you're doing and not on what the competitors are doing, similar to, to a cross country race, then, you know, it's, it's really about, um, you know, it's about measuring against yourself. Did I do better this month with my page speed? Did I do better with usability? Did I do better with bounce rates and conversion rates? Did I do better with my, my click through rate test on my title and meta description? Did I do better with improving my markup this month than I did last month? Um, that's, that's really you know, if you focus your time on that and worry a little bit less about what the competitors are doing, uh, I'm telling you, when you hit that one-year milestone, you'll 
you'll feel much better about yourself. Guarantee it. Yeah. 